All right, all right, all right. Let's break down this ETC chart. So with any chart, you first start off with squaring, which this chart was squared with a 25.2 degree angle, which is a Giza variant or also a point to point tunnel. Uh, subnet mask, if you want to research that, you can. But anyways, we have one, two, three touch points on it. Valid trend line, in my opinion. And also we have a connecting here, 25.2, same, coming down, which intersects this green fib spiral. Also, the edge of this uh, as above, slow below pyramid that was formed, which we'll get into here in a second. And then chops down to this corner. Interestingly enough, we're on a 928, so 128, which is the inverse 52. And we are sitting price right around Seoul at 141. So that right there told me alignment uh, was, was in play. So after I built this trend, trend line uh, with, with this squaring, I saw the structure and decided to put circles in and basically took this top move here and connected it down there and then moved it up into place to see where all it would fit. And I cloned it twice after that. So this very first circle, as we come in, you see the center point here. We have a nice resistance here. One, two, three touches with two touches being support. Very valid circle in my opinion. And then we have a second circle here, its center point. And as it comes around, we have resistance and one, two, three touches for support. Also valid placement. Then the third one I was putting in the future, but wasn't quite sure how to align. And we've come in here to the very all-time high of ETC and then also touching here this resistance point. And that also intersected these three circles together here at this point here. So this 102.2 is the Vesco Pisces um, of two of these circles, the very first two circles. And then whenever I was connecting this pyramid here, I also came into the 112.2 coming down so as above so below and then going up was 61 degrees phi and then pi coming down it also culminates at a point of 72.72 and uh, 72 plus 72 is 144 so um, that's that alignment and then something triggered me to take a look at all the center points of the circles and connect them. So our first circle here, you see the center point is there. And then we have the second center point here and the third center point here. So this angle going backwards is a 16.61 degree angle, which is phi. There's, we have a 161.1, also phi. Then we have phi here, also at the tip of the pyramid, which also coincides with 168 in price. And then to finish triangle off and connect them all, we have a 2.7, which could be a 2.8, which would also be the inverse of 52. And how I'm getting that is 180 minus 128 is 52. So anything with a 28 is a variant, in my opinion. So... <clears throat> How I would play this is this is act. Oh, let me get to the fib spirals right quick. From the top of the pyramid, came down, and its points where where did it connect to? I just went straight down with both of them, I believe. And so its touch point hits the very bottom of the pyramid, cuts right along the edge of this red fib spiral, and cuts here as well nice touch in my opinion so when I flipped it around and looked at it from the other way it came around and it also cut the top mm -hmm. off here and it intersected that red fib spiral perfectly which if you look at the red fib spiral it also intersects with uh, this one here which is the, the very top of that move so it chopped that off and the red fib spiral runs from here and comes back to this vortex point and then the opposite way of that comes around and chops off here 
which in my opinion triggered the end of this downsell and into the new market cycle for the last wave in my opinion so it left kind of this little void here and so I've labeled it green because if price has come into here this is just how I'm seeing it we'll probably ride this this down or maybe even come in touch and then use it as you know resistance maybe once or twice to make the three touches or maybe just one more touch because we have three here one two need a third and then we break through this is my period here where i believe price is going to explode upwards so between the very very end of september through and into what's that new year's next year so the fall and winter months are looking bullish in my opinion for for price action and this connection here of the uh, center points of all the circles, in my opinion, is acting as a, a vacuum tunnel, which will suck price up through it uh, to give Einstein a catch. And what I see with this is possibly um, this first red line here being resistance from the vortex. Because if you think about it, we have a vortex up here and we have a vortex over here. So as we begin to pull up, depending upon how accelerated this move is, we'll determine if we're pulled strong, more strongly towards this vortex or if we start getting pulled towards this vortex, which this one looks a little bit bigger. I haven't quite finished my theory on what that means uh, as far as pulling, but this red would be a max range. So if we come in here, you know, max range, we could get uh, pi 304.41 and a max move over here of, of all threes. But I think that the, the red is something to watch. And then this 252 point to point angle, which the green intersects this circle down to the corner of the pyramid. I believe this will also act as resistance. So Einstein is the catch. Uh, maybe sell 50% here. And if it breaks the this pyramid uh, line here at the 2.7 degree angle, maybe that's a exit out completely, or um, it blasts up and we start to test the, the upper range here of the, of the move. So it remains to be seen how that exactly plays out, but um, currently, while we're waiting for all this to unfold, um, I, I'm watching green and I threw Benjamin Franklin down there, so I'm throwing Benjamins. <laughs> If it hits anywhere in this green area, I'm buying. Uh, that's just my, my thought process. But anyways, I hope this kind of clears up the chart and it's a little less cluttered now and you can see how I'm I'm seeing it and how I, I'm looking at this, this chart. Yeah. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, let me know. And uh, talk to you guys later.